Now, about a couple weeks ago, I made a video on the $19 Fortnite card guy, aka Fate, and it's kind of crazy that his name's Fate, because I'll just get into it. So, on the main channel, I made that video, and I really wanted to deep dive into what actually happened to Fate after the Justicle interview, because it's been like two years, and sometimes with an interview and with somebody who had like thoughts then sometimes they don't recover from that and they consistently get worse and worse so i wanted to see what his account looked like and if he ever changed what he was doing to get like a new following or to get people to like him again but then i quickly realized that this video or that video was not going to be what I thought it was going to be. It was going to be something completely different. And halfway through the script writing, I realized that I may have stumbled upon something that nobody really noticed from fate during this whole entire time. Now, I wanted to point out that Jessica saying that he was like suicidal or, or wanted to end his life during that video is kind of a reach. When I was watching Jessica's video, he said it like maybe slightly. And then Jessica just ran with that for a title, which is fine. I will do what you want to do with that. But after that, I realized that the problem wasn't the fans. The problem was fate. I think fate didn't understand the internet. And because he thought that the fans actually were trolling him, he constantly started blocking them, started roasting them, started calling them all types of names. And when you start to berate your own fan base and turn on your own fan base, then they start to turn on you. And that's exactly what happened. Instead of the fans turning on him, he turned on the fans because he started to hate his fans. And that's like a big thing that I wanted to speak about during that video, because it's very easy to get lost in somebody just saying that they they weren't really good and they wanted to do bad things in their life like to themselves but fate was not like that fate literally just i think manipulated justicle into being on the interview to get more eyes on him and to get more eyes on his gofundme account because after that video justicle helped raise thirteen thousand dollars for fate and that was like two years ago then fate constantly kept asking for money which is insane because that's just like a greedier side of fate and he says constantly that he doesn't ask for money he doesn't ask for handouts but contradicts himself by asking for handouts probably like a week later now again the whole reasoning for even having that main channel video was because i wanted to show people the real side of fate because what he was showing on that justicle interview was a persona somebody that was humbled somebody that really just needed help somebody that needed just needed help practically but it just seemed like he wanted a handout and i felt off when I was watching that interview because it seemed very iffy. So I kept looking into it and I calculated how much he actually got from GoFundMes that he'd create throughout those three years. And he made over $20,000. And the last bullet point that I actually brought up in my video was that Fate was actually trying like recently to get a food truck in order to be his own businessman and in that gofundme post he admitted that he quit his job because he wanted to be his own businessman and of course he'll say that he got hurt but even then in that same post he said that he wanted to try out the whole social media thing and really double down on it but again it's just contradictory because in one light he's telling everybody that he wants to be his own businessman he wanted to take on uh, youtube and like social media and really go hard on it yet he banned everyone from talking in his chats and throughout the weeks after i made the video i kept going into his chats anyways just to see if i could make another video on him or to see if anything changed or to see if he even saw my video and nothing really changed he kept roasting people calling people like crazy things calling them that they're evil or telling them that they're evil telling them that they are like trolls and 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 demons no they, he didn't say demons but he constantly just berated his fan base. Now, the thing is, Fate kept saying that he didn't want negative people in his chats, but negativity towards him is anyone that doesn't agree with what he's doing. So for me in this instance, why would you quit your job and try to do the whole like social media thing, which is what he put in the GoFundMe description, when you already know that you blocked half of your supporters, maybe even 90% of your supporters, and were barely making any views on any of the videos that you actually had. And TikTok is not a secure place to make money, and everybody knows that, and it's already going to get banned. And in the same light, he'll roast the platform for almost getting banned, or being banned, Band, but in the same light, he'll say that he needs money and how he wanted to take it seriously. Now, this takes us to a week after my whole entire $19 Fortnite card video, when one of my followers actually sent me a video of fate saying that he has until May 19th in order to get $2,200 to pay for his rent. Now, I was kind of skeptical on this because it felt very off. Not only that, he also just raised money for the food cart that he wanted to do. And he also raised money a couple like months before that for, I'm not exactly sure, to be honest. I, I can't remember off the top of my head, but he already had money that he could have been saving up. In this video that I'm going to be showing you, he says how he needs the money and how he tried to pay the uh, rent beforehand, but the building manager didn't want to accept it, which is very odd to me because I lived in apartments 
and all they really care about is their money, regardless of when they get it. So either he was very behind on bills and he didn't actually pay them on time or didn't pay them enough money or he's just flat out lying because he said that he had the $2,200 which is how much he has to pay for rent and how he wanted to give them the money but then they didn't want to accept it and how they were going to take him to court and then he said that he used the $2,200 in court but then he also said that he had to use the money for bills it all just seemed a little bit fishy and I was very confused but I'll do the video right now so you can get your own opinion on it I'm asking for help it's hard for me to get on there as well Lately, me getting this age and I am, and I went through surgery, was working, and I quit the job because it wasn't for me. Now, when I had the money to pay my rent, they didn't want to take the rent. So I went to court on it. Now I'm back behind. So I need your help, man. I gotta have $2,200 before May 20th, man. If you can help me, man, please help me, man. And I'm asking, man. I don't need nobody trying to troll me or none of that, bro. I'm just asking for help. If you can help, help. Yeah. My PayPal and my link tree is right there. My, it's right there in the link tree, my PayPal and my and my cash app, right there in my bio, man. So please help me, man. That's all I'm asking, man, for a little help, man. You guys help me get into this apartment so I know you can live in here. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, I didn't even know about this video until it was sent to me, and I kept watching his live streams throughout that whole entire week. But after that, I started watching his live streams even more to see if he was going to do anything to kind of drag him out of this hole. He said that he didn't want to ask people for help and how he rarely asked people for help. But over the past three years, everything that I researched, he constantly asks people for help, whether it's living in his car because he needs help or, or how he needs help opening up a food cart because he wants to be his own businessman or this, that and the third. I'll leave a link to my my original video in the description below. You can go check it out there. But it just seems like he always needs help. And at 50 years old, like over 50 years old, that's kind of really bad. So where am I heading with this? I guess the main thing is, is I kept looking at his live streams to see if he was going to get off of his ad and go to work or do DoorDash or there's so many different ways that you can make money, especially where he's from, which is like, I think California, where you don't even really need a car to make deliveries on DoorDash or even to do anything. You can walk wherever you need to. And there's multiple times in multiple videos where he's just walking around with his dog. All the other times I've seen him on live stream when he's begging people for money is he's literally having two phones recording live stream simultaneously so then his live stream will get more traction and then he'll be playing on a ps5 now you're probably wondering to yourself if he needs that much money and he's so desperate for money and he doesn't want to beg people for money why would he not part ways with his ps5 and i'm asking myself the same question because it's stupid like if you need that much money you could easily sell the ps5 and the games on the ps5 for maybe 600 700 now i understand you probably don't want to get rid of something or you probably have an attachment to it but if you're that far behind on bills and you are the age that he is, you have to make some sacrifices so that you're not homeless. You obviously have two phones or two ways to record your live streams, and you also have the PS5. And I'm pretty sure there's other things in that house that would have been valuable that he could have sold or even pawned off to get money. But instead of doing that, he immediately runs to his non-existent fan base that he completely blocked everyone from. After this, he's had a couple of videos where he's literally crying on video saying that he like, he's just randomly just crying on the video. I don't really understand it. And then there's another video just recently where he said like he's done, he's over it and how nobody wanted to help him and he couldn't even get any help. And it's kind of like a slap in the face for the people who actually tried to help him throughout this time and throughout the last three years. And the thing that I tried to harp on in my main video, I'm tired of bringing it back up. But the thing that I wanted to harp on the most is that he's blocking the same people who helped him out of that rut that he was in. So now when he needs help again, those same people aren't there to help him and they probably won't help him. So he won't get that amount of money back in return. So obviously he tried to raffle off his Instagram account. It had 72,000 followers and he wanted to make it like you give him a dollar or you cash app him a dollar and then you get put into this raffle. But I kind of think it's a scam because there's no way that he would just like give away the account. And when somebody questioned about it being a scam, then he was like, oh yeah, I gave away my TikTok account. So how's it a scam? But I'm pretty sure that he deleted the 800,000 follower TikTok account. Here's a video. You can watch it. Things just constantly don't line up for fate. And I'm talking about not him financially struggling. I'm talking about the things that he does behind the camera or in front of the camera. Like he says that he got rid of the 800,000 follower TikTok account, which is just not true. He said that he sold it, which is again, just not true because he has a TikTok video saying how he was getting rid of it or he's going to delete it because there's too many trolls. 
then after that, he said how could he be scamming somebody when he literally gave the account away for free? But then he said that he sold it. So there's just so many things that just aren't matching what he's saying. Fate has become really desperate over the last couple of weeks and he constantly either is arguing with people in the comments or he's just asking people to send money or he's saying that he's going to be raffling off the account for one dollar which is again insane i've been kind of trying to keep up with it but there's only so much that i can actually watch where i don't get like upset about it because there's so many different ways that you can make money nowadays where you don't need to actually beg for people to do it i just don't understand where the 2200 dollars just magically disappeared i actually feel like it's pretty weird that i don't know where that has gone but that's just me I, I don't really i'm not really sure and again he also said like I know I'm rambling on and I'm going back and forth on different timelines, but he also said that he left his job because it wasn't for him anymore. Why would you do that? <laughs> you literally have bills. You have things that you had to pay for and you you're actively not trying to get another job. It makes no sense. Anyways, this was just like a little bit of an update to fate and to see where he is after my video on him. Make sure to go watch that first channel video. It's pretty good. And I'll see you in the next video.